Today we have come to explore this abandoned mansion with everything left behind. Wow, this place is massive. Look at all of these DVDs we've just found. Every single room is completely full. Look at all of the alcohol we've just found. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's adventure. As you can see, I'm joined with Jake who is walking behind me and today we have come to explore another abandoned mansion. Apparently everything has been left behind again. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so we're just walking along this public footpath which is running behind this property. I've just got to decide which one it is because they all look a little bit ropey from here. This one's all completely overgrown with all the fencing that's fallen down. Uh, I'm guessing this looks like it's overgrown, so it could be this one here. Okay, pretty sure we found the right one now. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely it. God, it's quite windy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're at the back of this property now. We're gonna take a walk around this makeshift garage, barn, whatever it is. Oh wow, look how overgrown this is. It's like a little summer house. Oh wow, look at that. Ooh. Oh, there's like a little sofa bed thing in there oh that's cool I wonder what this building here is it's it looks massive looks fucking weird it? yeah it's really strange well there's another one there maybe they were like little I don't know Airbnb houses or something they were going to rent out well, there's another one over there too look The old football goal there. Let's take a look inside this one quickly. Ah, it looks as if they weren't even finished, whatever they were going to be used for. They're huge. How strange. It's like. Yeah, it's not the best material to make them out of. It's never, never going to last, is it? Yeah. Right, you can see the house just through there now. All right, let's get in before it gets too dark. Okay, now this, this is every child's dream, is to have one of these in your back garden. I'll tell you what, that couldn't have been cheap. Oh, can you imagine the amount of fun the kids must have had that here? Legit, yeah, it? it's, it's even got like a Formula One car tire as a swinglet. Is it a Goodyear tire? That is cool. Oh, what? I'm actually quite jealous of this. <laughs> wow. How the other half live, eh? Massive trampoline. Look at that. The plant is growing straight through the middle of it. Do you know what? I'd say this property has been empty for a long time. Very, very long time. Oh, this is awesome. This really is cool. How much do I reckon that costs? It must have been a couple of grand at least. 
Uh, Maybe to rest, you know? Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay, let's move on. Okay, guys, so we are now at the back of the house. And the first thing I'm going to say is, wow, this place is massive. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. You see, we've got the old basketball hoop here. Palm trees just next to it. We've got the second goal just there. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Like, how does this even happen? Like, a house of this size just gets left like this. It's, it's crazy. Look at this palm tree, look. <laughs> Poor old thing, looks like it's been there for years. Ah, oh, there's an open door there, look. We can, we can go in that way. Before we go in, I just want to have a look down here. Oops. Make sure there's no open manholes anywhere. Don't want to be disappearing down any holes. There's another one of those buildings here, look. Very strange, that. Oh, look, we've got a pond there. Looks like I spotted that. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand what these buildings are. No, it's strange, isn't it? They were obviously built for something, but but what? I couldn't tell you. God, look how overgrown it is here. Literally, nature is taking over. Spider-Man bike. Looks like we've got a, an outdoor barbecue set up here. Oh, just imagine it back in the day when this house was well, being lived in and enjoyed. You know, just look at it now, it's just falling apart. Such a shame. Another door there. Oh, it's just so, so neglected. Okay, well it's starting to get pretty dark now, so let's go and have a look inside. Oh, the door's actually open for us. Oh, and straight away, that smell, that unrecognisable smell of decay. Yeah. Oh, look, there's an unopened <laughs> bottle of uh, bubbly down there. <laughs> to Paul Francis, Sophie, Chloe, Paul, Stefan, Alex, Ryan, Rory and Isabella. That's a lot of people. <laughs> well, they obviously had a big family, hence the big house. Wow, look, look, there's a wine cellar with loads of bottles of wine down there. Is there? Yeah, look. Oh, God. Let's go have a look. Oh, okay, so we've got... My goodness, there, there is so much stuff in here. Wow. God, it doesn't smell very good in here. Let's see if we can see any dates on these quickly while we're in here. Just switch to my other torch. Is it anything with a sell by date? Mm -hmm. Diablo, what's that? Oh, yeah, that'll have a date on it, won't it? Mm. No, I don't know what that is. It's funny because it doesn't look that old, but the house has been empty for years by the look of it. Oh, look, we've got a fridge here. Oh, good, there's nothing in it. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. Okay, right. Here we go. Here Some. we go. Right, okay, let's have a look at the date on this. Oh, it's stuck. Coconut milk. 2018. Okay. So we've got a rough date now. 2018. I mean, that could date back to 2016, maybe. I mean, look at the cobwebs in here, guys. Look, this, this place has been empty for a very, very long time. Oh, the smell's getting worse. Oh, that was creepy. That's how the door blowing around, isn't it? Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh my God, this is unbelievable. The amount of alcohol that's been left here. Unopened bottles everywhere. 
Look at that. Never been touched. Oh my goodness me. This is unbelievable. Look, it even had air conditioning as well to keep it cool. Mm. I just wanted to have a little walk around and see if I missed anything. Wow, look at this cooker. Is that Range Master? Yes, yeah, Range Master. Well, it's definitely well used. Oh, that door keeps on blowing. <laughs> it's only the wind, though. Oh, look at the amount of grease on the wall here. That is absolutely disgusting. Oh, look, it's all over the ceiling as well. Wow, that is pretty gross. Ugh. God, there's just so much stuff here. They obviously like their alcohol, looking at all these empty bottles and the amount we just found back there. Good people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, there's a dead... What's that? Is that a mouse? A rat? It's either a mouse or a rat. Wow, that door, look, look at that, that's creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Blowing open like that. Now there's plenty of people out there would say, oh, look... Ghost has just opened the door, but that is purely just the wind. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. God, it absolutely stinks. It's really rotten in here. All right, Jake's gone on ahead of me, so I think we're, we're heading his direction. This is obviously the, the chill room. Quite a decent sized sofa there. Got an airing cupboard just there. Nope. Gas covered. So it's absolutely pitch black outside now. Cool. Jeez. Squeeze through. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Foosball table. Well, there's a photograph there of school children. Obviously family members who used to live here. I just can't believe this, that, I mean, were they evicted? Were they not allowed to come back here to take all their blowers? Because it just appears that they've left everything here. I mean, look, there's still Christmas cards hanging up there. That's just unreal. Um, I did spot a newspaper down here. What's the date on that? 2015. Okay. See, that, that seems more realistic, doesn't it, 2015? When you look at the decay in here, We've got a room here as well, wasn't there? Oh my goodness me. Everything by the look of it. Look at that, it's half full to the ceiling. And the ceiling is actually starting to come down. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of stuff. That is a heck of a lot of stuff. I just don't understand it, I really don't. Wow. What's that? George is a crack at it. Oh. <laughs> remember that? I do remember that, yeah. Bless his soul. <laughs> and that's a DVDs. Yeah. That's a good film, though. That is, that is a film. really good film, yeah. Stone Cold Classic right there. Huge widescreen just hanging on the wall still. That's unbelievable. I mean... Whatever happened here, I mean, look, we've got a birthday card out there as well, six today. It's just so sad seeing all of these memories in here just, just forgotten about. I'm getting a feeling that it was maybe Christmas time when whatever happened, happened here. God, look at these. Oh yeah, the old VHS tapes, look. Loads of DVDs, PlayStation 2 games. Hmm. Colin McRae, Rally 3 for the Xbox, that's a good game. Urbex donations, can you believe someone's actually put that? That is just unbelievable. 
Oh dear. Well, this must have been the... Oh, mate, look at all those photos down there. Now, I don't know how I feel about putting photos in my videos because if any of the family do ever see, and it has happened before, I'll be honest with you, you know, some of them have got quite upset. Um, I won't tell you which one in particular, but one recently, um, the granddaughter actually messaged me and said it was her grandfather's house. Um, and basically, yeah, it was very emotional for her and her mum, um, obviously the daughter of this chap, um, watching the video back. But at the same time, it was nice to talk to them, you know, and just sort of have a, an understanding of, you know, why what happened happened. You know, it suddenly all made sense. Like, even coming into this one, I've just got no idea what's happened here. But there's obviously a reason for it being like this. So, anyway, let's move on. Okay, guys, going to take a look upstairs now and see what we can find up here. A lot of water damage so far. Interesting curtains. The carpet's well trodden. Oh, that looks a little bit threatening. <laughs> Huge pickaxe. Okay, we've got the bathroom. Look at this, guys. Look at the window, which has been completely taken over by nature. You cannot see anything out of that window. Got a shower there. Look at that. Travel iron. That looks like an old one. Still got some hand washlet. Half used. Well, I say half used. Doesn't look like it's been barely used. Again, we've got some more water damage there, look. Looks like the, the roof's in desperate need of repair. And there's the iron cupboard. Cylinder still intact. Wow, I mean, every room I look in is just full, completely full. We're starting this one first. Oh my God. I just can't believe it. It's just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. This huge ensuite here. Wow. Look at the wind blowing that curtain, look. <laughs> a little bit creepy. Oh dear me, that's not very nice. Now, this was obviously a, a girl's room. There's lot, oh God, that creeped me out then, that did. <laughs> look at this, look, 2008. That's even earlier than the newspaper we saw downstairs. Wow. It's just crazy. Okay, so we leave that room. We're now coming into a second upstairs bedroom. Again, all the clothes are in here still. Sadly, looks like someone's been rifling through it all. Trying to find anything valuable. Okay, so this was possibly a teenage boy's bedroom. I'm guessing, it's, it's hard to tell. It really is hard to tell. I mean, maybe not, looking at that. Maybe a teenage girl's bedroom. In fact, now I'm looking around, definitely a teenage girl's bedroom. Got the pairs of socks there, crikey. Oh, there we go, we've got a name on the window there, Sophie. Oh. Another one sweet. Wow, that's a special bath, that is. Crikey. Oh, floor's moving around a little bit there. Look at this, the wildlife coming through the window. Nature finding a way as always. There's a picture in the corner there. I'm not going to get too close. I don't want to show you exactly who's riding it, but of a, a girl riding a horse. That's pretty cool, that is. Wow, I just cannot believe how much stuff is here. Oh. OK, 
Okay guys, let's uh, go and check out the other bedrooms up here. So, walk across the landing. I think Jake is up here somewhere. Not sure where. Oh, you're bloody <laughs> homie. You fight the bloody life out of me then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our third upstairs bedroom. Now this looks like it could have belonged to, I'm gonna say two younger children. Look at the beds and the, the wall art in here. Angry Birds. God, I remember when they came out, they were really big. Bits and bobs. With love on your Christmas. See, guys, things like this really do pull my heartstrings. You know, something like that should not be left in a house. You know, these, these children are hopefully still around somewhere. You know, you'd think that they, they'd want to take it with them. I don't know, maybe they haven't got a choice. Maybe, you know, there's a reason why it's all like this. The Xbox down there. Okay, so we've got another huge bedroom here. Oh, wow, look at that chair. It's a shame someone's broken it. No, it's a shame that people have been here and wrecked the place, to be honest with you. It really does annoy me. There's no need for this. That's interesting, it's like a, a secret shower hidden in a cupboard. I quite like that. And we've got a, a toilet in that one there, look. how cool. Do you know, you wouldn't even know they were in there with those doors shut. It looks like they had a, an indoor pet of some sort. Maybe a, I don't know, a chinchilla, guinea pig, rabbit. Some hair straighteners there. Shopping fund. Oh. Kind of lost for words at the moment, you know, just, just walking around here, taking it all in, trying to figure out why this house is like it is. I've got all these possibilities running through my head and do you know what, I'm, I'm probably completely wrong on all of them. Okay, well, we've got another set of stairs, which takes us into the loft space, I think, which has been converted. The skylight's wide open there. I think we've got another bedroom. There's a PS2 there, look. <laughs> Whoa, that is a cool frame. That is really cool. Crikey, that is absolutely massive. Okay, well, we've got another bedroom up here. Oh, try and squeeze through there. See, to me it looks like that door's been kicked down maybe. Oh, this is a creepy room. This is very creepy. With the window wide open like that, I wondered what that breeze was, but now I know. Is that hair? Why is there a lot of hair on the floor? That's a little bit concerning. Oh, how strange. I mean, I guess anything could have happened in this house, but... Jake? He must be downstairs still. FHM. Oh my God, what is that smell? There's a really strong smell of, of something. I can't quite work out what it is. It's not a terrible smell. It almost smells like food, like fresh food. God, it is so creepy outside there tonight. I just realised we've got to walk back through all that in a minute. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, what was that? 
That's why it's just like blowing in the wind. <laughs> Getting a bit creeped out in this room. I just can't work out why all that hair's on the floor. And that is, that is human hair. You know, someone's obviously been up here and had a haircut and just not cleaned it up. Which is strange. Oh, we've got an ensuite in here. This is the last room to look in, guys. It's quite a dirty room, to be honest. It's um, obviously not been used in a long time. Oh, dearie me. What a mess. A very unusual house. Right, I'm gonna go and catch up with Jake, do some pictures, and then I think we're gonna make a move from this one. Okay, so we're just about to leave, and I just realized that there's a fridge and I haven't looked at it yet. And the first thing Jake said was, no. Colin's, <laughs> Sorry. Colin's special is to open the most rank fucking fridge. Oh. oh. Right guys, me and Jake are done in here now. We are going to make a move. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I put all the pictures on Facebook. Turn on the rest of the Instagram, and I will see you on the next video soon. We've now got to find our way back through the pitch black forest. <laughs> <laughs>